All right, helping uh, my friend uh, Cyfusion out here, giving a little bit of an assess on uh, his uh, stream. We're opening up uh, Adobe After Effects. We're gonna start a new composition. We're gonna make the length of time. Let's give it six seconds. And the background color can be black, and everything else should be all right. I got it at uh, 29.9 frames per second. We'll hit OK. And to start things out, we'll make a square. We'll make a stroke color of, I don't know, let's make it green, neon green. Um, we'll make a fill color of transparent and we'll make the we'll make the stroke 10 let's try making the stroke 10 okay there's a there's a frame okay so now that we've done that um, if you made this square you'll have uh, a shape layer right here and you click the arrow and it'll open up uh, a set of controls and you're looking for one that says contents you open it up and there should be an add button there if there's not then you may have to click on this little icon down here to expand or collapse the transfer controls pane if you open that up it'll say add you click add and what you're looking for is trim paths you open up trim paths and what you're wanting is well trim paths and we're going to mess with, we'll leave start alone to start it off. But if you drag this around, you'll see that it's moving the trim path line. So we want to move the end all the way down to zero. And we're going to set a keyframe on that. So we're going to click both of these time pieces to set both keyframes to zero. And then we'll move this forward however far you want. Uh, we'll move it forward one second. And let's move the end up to, let's move it up to 25. So that should be 25% of the length of the square. And so now we have a keyframe there. And then let's move it forward to 2 seconds. And we'll move this up to 50. And we'll key that one in. And then at the same time, let's move this one up to 25. And then let's move this up to three seconds. And we'll put this at 75. And this one to 50. So it's just kind of chasing itself around the corner. And then we'll put this one to 100. And this one to 75. And then at five seconds. We'll put this one at 100, and that one's at 100, and then, of course, right here, we'll just leave it at the same. So we'll just hit that dot and that dot, and that sets them to keyframes, and then it should just start over again. So let's hit the play button and see what happens. Okay, so there's our square chasing itself around the there it goes so let's say we want uh, let's collapse this down so we don't have all them keyframes going um, we can edit it still so you can select the shape and you can increase the pixels let's bring it up to oh, let's say 30 okay there's a 30 so let's add an adjustment layer so we'll select new and we'll put an adjustment layer down and let's put a gaussian blur on that adjustment layer and let's put that adjustment layer let's keep increasing it make it fuzzy let's go to 30 that looks kind of fuzzy there there's a 30 so you kind of see how it's fuzzy now and so now we got a, a fuzzy image and now and so here's the thing if you have a square or something like that and you want to make it a certain size you'll need to shoot a video clip 
and drag it into uh, After Effects to make sure you got the profile that you need. So uh, I'm just going to grab something here um, as an example. We'll drag this into um, After Effects. There we go. Now if we go ahead and bring up, let's drag this down to the bottom. If we bring up our shape layer and hide this. Okay, now you see our square is the wrong size. You'll actually have to reshape the size to make sure that it fits your video. Or like if this was a webcam, you'd have to, you know, adjust it to fit the the video or whatever it is that you're. You know, in this case, I'm going to a, a photo, but um, you know, if you was doing a, a what whatever a, a vlog or a photo or whatever you know you'd have to reshape it to whatever size you you need um but you know you'd match it up and square it up to whatever size you'd want before you export it okay i think i got three of them going now let me see yeah i do i copied it but you get the idea so um you'd have to make it the size you want and then of course get rid of it then let me control Z some of this so I get rid of the duplicates. Alright. So after after you've got that done, then to export it, what you want to do is you want to click on there's an icon right here that says toggle transparency grid and you click on that and it makes your background transparent. You go to file export and you want to um, add to render Quay or um, add to Adobe Media Encoder whichever one you want to use um, I'll just do the render render Quay just as an example okay so the one that you're wanting is you click on the lossless uh, in the output module and the one you want is the RGB, but not the, the plain one. You want the RGB plus alpha. And so you want the RGB plus alpha, and it'll um, encode just the transparency lines. It won't, it won't give you none of the background. And then when you encode that out, of course, remember where you, you know, saved it to, and you'll be able to import that as a video into OBS. So when you bring it into OBS, it'll you know come in just like a video, and you play it just like a video as a loop in OBS. And um, so you know that'll be the way that you set it up. And that's all there is to it. Hope that helps.